Last night, the Producers Guild of America held its annual awards ceremony in Los Angeles and surprised many people by naming The Big Short as their outstanding produced feature film of the year. The award was accepted by the film's producers Brad Pitt, Dee Dee Gardner, and Jeremy Kleiner. The PGA Awards is considered by many industry experts to be a major indicator indicator as to what could win the Oscar. Mark, were you surprised by the Big Short winning the PGA Award and how does it affect your outlook on the Oscar race? Well, look, I don't know who Brad Pitt's date was, but that was a far <laughs> drop off from Angelina Jolie. <laughs> it's a very different kind of kiss you're getting. Um, yeah, I think everybody's surprised that the Big Short won. I might not go so far as to say shocked because I thought the Big Short was great and I like it was in my top 10 movies of the year. It wasn't quite as good as Spotlight in my opinion and it also it seems like Spotlight had all the momentum going for it as far as awards go. And so now all of a sudden, with the big short Adam McKay getting nominated for an Oscar for that movie, it looks like the big short could be one of these movies that just at the last minute, it sneaks a length ahead of its competition and maybe does something really shocking at the next awards ceremony. See, I am shocked, but not because I didn't think the big short was a quality film. It's a great movie. It's a really, really good movie. Deserves its nominations, all that kind of stuff. But when you look at the momentum... You know, from all the various, whether it's the LA Film Critics, New York Film Critics, Golden Globes, whatever, you look at the momentum. The momentum seems to have suggested it's Spotlight and it's The Revenant. And those that's mm -hmm. the two-horse race. That's what it's felt like. And I had a buddy of mine who's an awards uh, journalist, and he was at the PGA's last night, and he wrote, shot. He said the whole place, like, it's almost like the entire ballroom almost like did a double take and say, wait a minute, what did he say? Did he say the big short? Now, the PGA is the one major awards body that actually uses the same voting system called the preferential ballot, I believe is the name of the system. It's the same voting system that the Academy uses for theirs. So all that combined, the historically, the fact that these films have lined up Best Picture of the Oscars ends up being the best picture at the PGAs. The fact that they use the same voting system and this is the results. This now has a lot of people second guessing. We could be heading into I think a lot of us felt Birdman was probably going to win with about uh, uh, thir 13 years. Bo what is it? About a boy? About mm -hmm. a boy. About a 13-year-old boy. Um, that it had an outside dark horse shot. But boyhood, boyhood. Boyhood, boyhood yeah. thank you. Yeah. About a 13-year-old boyhood. Where <laughs> that sounds creepier. <laughs> <laughs> About the Where's boy, Robert it's a horror Hero? movie. Where's Robert De Niro? Yeah. Um, ah, I'm in a horror movie with this kid, Kindling. Ha! Ah. So that doesn't even sound like Robert. Uh, but Hero. now this is starting to feel like I. This could. This is one of those years. This could be anybody's. Like I would have put above the Big Short. I would have thought Spotlight had a better chance. I would have thought Revenant had a better chance. I would have thought The Martian had a better chance. And now I don't know. I this is a year I'm not going to be putting money down on anything. Any Schnapp, how do you see this? Well, we all know The Martian is a comedy, according to the Golden <laughs> Globes, so it couldn't possibly. Uh, yeah, The Big Short was a surprise for me. I definitely, uh, in in my eyes, Spotlight was the one that seems seemed naturally headed towards getting an Oscar out of all the films that were nominated. Um, the Big Short is is definitely informative. It has a very chaotic, interesting, cool way that they dis that Adam decided to to make the film. McKay, I think that's McKay making out with uh, Brad Pitt. I'm pretty sure that's him. Isn't that that picture right there? Oh, I, I I can't tell. I usually I don't see McKay from that angle. Yeah, that, I've seen him from <laughs> I've seen McKay from way too many angles, and I think that's McKay sucking face with Pitt. Um, but. Uh, you know, I'd love to see. Uh, I'd love to see him win, if only for anything to shake it up a little bit after Chris Rock completely devastates everyone and people are running away. Uh, I mean, I'm looking more forward to Chris Rock's opening monologue yeah. than anything else at the Oscars. Yeah. But w w when you look at this win, do you guys think that the Big Short was, or, or excuse me, Spotlight was so much better than the Big Short? Because as I'm thinking about my list right now, my top ten, I had one of them at eight and one was seven. I got college drunk this weekend, mm. so I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering <laughs> everything. But I don't know which one I had ahead of the other one because I think they're that close as far as film quality goes. Well, that's what happens you hanging with Robert De Niro for a weekend out of town. <laughs> but I think, I no, to me, to me, it's it's head and shoulders. It was Spotlight to me, head and shoulders. But. I did like The Big Short so much that I, I can totally see other people looking at it a little bit differently. It's just that, once again, for me, it's not a matter of, because I think Spotlight is so much better than that, it's been about an issue of momentum, that mm -hmm. we've seen the patterns starting to mm -hmm. form, and now the PGA's come along, and it totally shatters the patterns. And now we're heading into the Oscar season, and I'm like, now I have no idea. Yeah. I thought the Spotlight is just, a, as far as a film is constructed, 
in my eyes, one of the it's one of the best films of the year. Not just better than Big Short, but of of all the whole year, I thought that movie meant a lot to see that kind of that story come out the way it was told, the way they they show the spotlight news team. Everything about it was emotional and it had an impact on me. So I mean, written me, impeccably, directed yeah. impeccably, acted impeccably. Yeah, it's just it kind of ch chalked off. Uh, the whole list. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.